Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Pakistani President Mamnoon Hussain, marking his country's national day. His Majesty the King wished the Pakistani President abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Pakistani President Mamnoon Hussain, marking his country's national day. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished him abundant health and happiness and the people of Pakistan further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahid Khaqan Abbasi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to Pakistan's President Mamnoon Hussain, marking his country's national day. He wished him abundant health and happiness and the people of Pakistan further progress and prosperity. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated in the triathlon race organized by Bahrain Triathlon Association. The race began with the participation of the Bahraini triathlon team, a number of citizens and residents, and included a 1 km swimming, 120 km cycling, and a 10 km run. His Honor Sheikh Nasser affirmed that his participation is a preparation to participate in the Ironman World Championship that will be held in Hawaii next October. He praised the level of participants in the race, which reflects the readiness of the team. He expressed his keenness to achieve further accomplishments and said that the achievements made in previous competitions is a proof to the high level and advanced status of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the sport. His Highness pointed out that the upcoming race is one of the most important and most powerful world championships of Ironman with the participation of a group of heroes and contestants from different countries who are competing to achieve advanced positions which requires a different preparation. He added that he is very satisfied with the preparations and is looking forward to achieving a positive result in the race. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended tonight the night endurance race held at the Bahrain International Endurance Race Village. 
His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his satisfaction with the technical level shown by the night race. His Highness praised the active participation and outstanding performance of all the stables and riders in the race. He said that the endurance sport in Bahrain has achieved remarkable progress. Thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the great efforts exerted by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation and the riders of all stables. Under the patronage of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, Honorary President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabled Persons, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Arab Gulf Award for Young Novelist 24 Hours kicked off today at the Ar Capita Bank building in the Gulf of Bahrain. The event is organized by Al Watan newspaper in partnership with the media office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and attended by 42 youngsters from Bahrain and other GCC states. Upon his arrival, His Highness was welcomed by the Minister of Youth and Sports, Mr. Hisham Al Jodar, and the Executive Director of Isa Cultural Center, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Bahrain Journalist Association, Mu'nis Al Mardi, the Secretary General of the Award, and Al Watan Editor in Chief. Mr. Yusuf Al Bin Khalil, the owner of the Montreal Motor Company, Mr. Ibrahim Al Sheikh, and a number of sponsors and organizing committees. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa stressed that His Majesty pays great attention to the care and support of young people through His Majesty's directives to provide all the possibilities and overcome the difficulties for them and encourage them to be able to innovate and give continuous support, which affirms. His Majesty's firm approach to the role of youth in preserving the cultural gains of the kingdom as the main engine for the renaissance and prosperity of Bahrain through their distinguished efforts which are in the interest of building and developing areas, especially the cultural field. The reformist king of the country, supported by God, stressed the importance of enhancing the role of culture in society, which drives to feed the minds of individuals and contribute to planning for a brighter and more prosperous future. His Highness Sheikh Khaled underlined the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the youngsters and His Majesty's directives to provide all the possibilities and overcome the difficulties and the encouragement for them. His Highness Sheikh Khaled said that the reform project of His Majesty the King stresses the importance of enhancing the role of culture in society and contribute to planning for a brighter future. His Highness Sheikh Khaled toured the various sections of the event, praising the active participation which will have a great impact on the success of the event. During the tour, His Highness also met with the participants and thanked them for attending the award and wished them success. He also met with the first blind Bahraini novelist, Fatma Habayl, and praised the great efforts exerted by her in writing her novels.
The second edition of the Arabian Gulf Young Novelists Award was held today under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The competition comprises of a unique challenge to complete an entire novel within the span of 24 hours. 42 young participants from all over the GCC have taken part in the contest that will take place over two days. This is my first time to experience uh, an event like this. Uh, uh, and it's my first time to write a novel in 24 hours. Yeah, I have three previous novels, but I've written them in different timelines. Uh, so this is a totally new experience for me. Uh, I wanted to try. This is the first time I try um, something different like this. And I'm really proud that we're getting to... to have opportunities like this in our Arab world because I've read uh, about contests like this before but I'm so lucky to be a participant in one of them in Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, I think it's too important for them because it uh, it's encouraged them to read because if you read you can write but you can't write without reading so it's it's actually a good process you know of reading and writing uh, and and if they if they wrote and if they read uh, and, and if they read they will know how to think critically and that's a very good thing for young people. For me, I find that it's very good competition and it's a challenge. So the person, he can challenge himself whether he can write a novel within 24 hours or not. Although it's hard, I didn't expect it will be hard, but I'm enjoying it. I don't know about the outcoming, whether it will be a good novel or not, but I wanted to go through this experience. The organizing committee held an orientation seminar prior to the competition day, which included instructions and directives at the organizational, administrative and educational levels. Many of the participants are beginners, and for this reason the competition aims to nurture their talents and interests and give them a platform to express themselves and showcase their capabilities. This type of competition will help them to build on their uh, knowledge and uh, education and this one will encourage more people to read and to write, which is really uh, what we are looking for to have in uh, this generation. A number of established novelists from the Gulf were also in attendance to show their support for the writing community. Uh, this kind of awards gives the opportunity or provides the opportunity for all the youngest uh, writer who want to be a writer and novelist uh, to have a platform, an official platform to just uh, start and jump from it to be a real novelist or a real writer. This kind of uh, tournament or uh, an award will, give, will put the writer himself or the novelist or the young guy who is involved in this award to be under pressure, which will just give him the chance and the opportunity to write under pressure and, his, and show up uh, his skills. Uh, this kind of awards and, uh, will give, uh, it will be an added value to the culture inventory in Bahrain, uh, which will be a very very, very good start to any novelist or any writer or anyone who wants to be a writer. Big opportunity for the any young uh, and a writer, novelist, or who want to be a novelist uh, to get included and encouraged by putting himself under pressure to, to write. This is a great opportunity for the young novelists uh, in the Gulf and it will be definitely make them a uh, stronger uh, writer and uh, thank you so much for this invitation. I'm so proud um, to be a part of this event. Uh, thank you also for Sheikh uh, Khaled uh, bin Hamad Al Khalifa uh, for the support. I think it's a good opportunity for the young novelists in order to be prepared for the field and uh, to accomplish a, f a complete novel in 24 hours. It's it's a big challenge uh, and uh, for us as a novelist it cannot be done but I respect this, uh, this uh, challenge and maybe the ones who will be succeeded they, they will be very very strong and I wish them all the best and I, I appreciate uh, all your effort here and uh, we're happy to be in touch. This award is just one of the initiatives launched by His Highness Sheikh Khalid to support youth in the cultural field and develop their skills all the while promoting healthy competition and brotherly relations among the Gulf states. The Arabian Gulf Award for Young Novelists is truly a unique event and will complete its 24 hours tomorrow at 8 p.m. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed.
The commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, attended today a celebration organized by the Pakistani Army on the occasion of Pakistan's National Day in the presence of President Mamnoon Hussein, military commander, senior officials, guests, and the people of Pakistan. The National Guard commander witnessed the military parade and expressed his admiration towards the parades, the high efficiency, and the skills. He praised the bilateral deep relations and hailed Pakistan's role in supporting regional security and stability. He also praised the level of military cooperation between the two countries, which reflects both countries' efforts to achieve further progress and prosperity. The National Guard commander was accompanied during his visit by senior National Guard officers. And the commander of the National Guard also met the Director for Inter-Services Intelligence, Lieutenant General Navid Mukhtar, during his visit to Pakistan. Lieutenant General Navid Mukhtar welcomed the National Guard commander's visit and praised the bilateral relations and the progress witnessed in all fields. The meeting included discussions of topics of mutual interest and ways to enhance the military cooperation between the two countries. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Deputy Chairman of the Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized a 21st, 21st horse race meeting of the season at Rafa and Sakhir. It was held for the cups of the special representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Silver Cup presented by the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. Also present at the event were Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Sheikh Nuh bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. At the end of the race, trophies were presented to the winners.
Bahraini students have performed well in the progress in international reading literacy study known as PEARLS. Students taking part in PEARLS 2016 topped all other Arab countries which took part in the international study, which assesses the reading achievement in fourth graders. A total of 48 Bahraini schools ranked above the global average set for PEARLS 2016, which was conducted by the International Association for the Evaluation of Educational Achievement. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali and naimi extended thanks to students, teachers and parents who all contributed to Bahrain's outstanding achievements in Pearls 2016, which attracted 340,000 students worldwide. Addressing a ceremony on the occasion, he hailed the achievements outstanding by the Ministry in TIMS 2015 Science and Mathematics, which he said reflected educational strides in Bahrain. Dr. Anaimi then honored the several schools, students, teachers, and ministry specialists for their contribution to the achievement. The ceremony was held at the Ministry's Hall in Isatown in the presence of senior officials and parents of students who were honored in the ceremony.